up guys and welcome to another video as you guys can see i am dressed to impress and as they say dress for success the reason why i'm dressing up like this is because i want to make this a full-time job a career and i want to manifest it but that's not the point of this video the point of this video is actually this book right here which is called atomic habits by james clear now this book has made a massive difference in my life and I believe it can make the same difference in your life as well if you implement some of the things in this book. So for this video, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go over my key takeaways in this book. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it guys, let's go. My first key takeaway is rather than setting goals, build a system of processes. What does that mean exactly? This is very fascinating when you really think about it. A lot of people tend to have a lot of goals and a lot of big goals as well. And when you really think about that and you think about those goals, oftentimes they're so lofty, they're daunting, they're hard to even think about. But what James is saying in this book is rather than trying to reach that goal immediately, make a system of processes that you can work on every single day and you can build a strong foundation. Essentially, you're chipping at it one day at a time. Slowly but surely, you're getting closer and closer to reaching that goal. And you're not even thinking about the goal because you're just trying to get better each and every single day. Now, he gives a fantastic example that I really, really enjoyed. He talks about a basketball team trying to win a championship. Now, because I want to get it right, I'm going to make sure to read it right now for you guys. And I'm going to quote it for you guys. All right. So here we go. If you are a basketball coach and you ignored your goal to win a championship and focus only on what your team does at practice each day, would you still get the results? The answer to that is yes. Now, let's think about that and let's break it down. Every single basketball team, whether it's high school, middle school, college, or the NBA, they all want to win the championship. But to win the championship, you have to be the best team at the end of the year. And how do you become the best team at the end of the year? You become better each and every single day. You work on the small little things. You work on building that strong foundation so that at the end of the year, you can stand at the top as the best team. Now, let's move that to a more real world example, such as building a business. Let's take myself as an example. I want to build a successful business. I want to have a million dollar business. I want to be able to live anywhere I want in the world and work from my laptop, right? But when I think about it, it is so daunting when I think about it. It seems like so much work and it seems like it's so hard to achieve. It almost seems impossible. But if I break it down, if I build a good process, a good system of processes that allows me to build my business up each day, slowly but surely, I begin to chip away at that lofty goal I set for myself. And that's exactly what he means by build a system of processes rather than setting a goal. So that's the first key takeaway. Let's move on to the second one. My second key takeaway is get 1% better every day. Small habits make a big difference. Now this is a very fascinating one as well. The first time I ever heard of this was from Dr. Jordan Peterson. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. And in his video, he actually spoke about a statistic if you get 1% better, especially in the workforce, there is a direct correlation in an increase in your wage. I don't remember the exact percentage. I want to say it's about 20%, but don't hold me to that. I'll try to find a clip. If I can, I'll make sure to insert it for you guys in this video. But I think he said get a 1% better it has a significant increase in your salary over the years. Now, in this book, the author does the math and it comes out to if you get 1% better every single day, you become 37 times better than you were when you first started. Now, I'm not good at math, but I made sure to put the picture in here where he does it, where he does the math. And on the other hand, if you get 1% worse every day, then you decline to nearly zero. Getting 1% better every day is a compounding effect. You'll be surprised at how much significant improvements you can make. I want to use myself as an example again. 
Now, I started trying to learn Italian about two months ago. When I first started learning Italian, I had no idea what I was even looking at, what I was even reading. And even two weeks afterwards, I was still like, what am I really doing here? But now I can form sentences. Mi chiamo Abubakar, io sono l'uomo. That means my name is Abubakar and I am the man. The 1% rule is something that I've been trying to really instill in myself. When I have a task in front of me that I don't want to do, I think to myself, let's just get 1% better today. That's not a lot. 1% is an easy thing to reach. So it makes it a lot easier for me to do something that I really did not want to do, such as making this video today or doing something else, maybe going to the gym, whatever it may be. Just thinking about it, 1%, that's a small amount, but it has a compounding effect that can bring some long-term benefits. Another key takeaway is you don't need to start big, the two minute rule. Oftentimes when we try to build a good productive habit, we have a tendency to try to go big. For example, reading every single night. For me, I wanted to do 30 minutes every single night to an hour. And when I first started that, it was a lot. Going from not reading at all to going to 30 minutes every single night, was actually a significant amount and that's where the two minute rule comes in. So in the book, the author states, and I quote, when you start a new habit, it should take less than two minutes to do. Two minutes to do to start a new habit. That's because building a new habit is not about time. It's actually about the frequency at which you do it at. So if you're doing it every day for two minutes, you have a greater chance of actually continuing the habit than if you were try to do it for an hour every day and you start slagging or you start missing days. The idea of the two minute rule is to make building habits easier. Rather than saying you're gonna start out for 30 minutes or an hour a day, how about just start with just two minutes a day? See if you can do that. And honestly, think about this. Do you actually envision yourself doing something for just two minutes a day when you start something new? Like what are the chances that you're gonna do something for just two minutes a day? When you start reading a book, what are the chances you're gonna pick up that book for exactly two minutes? You're probably gonna read for about 15 minutes or 10 minutes, and then you're gonna put it down. So the two minute rule is actually just to trick your brain into thinking doing this is gonna be easy, it's gonna be fast, so let's just do it and get it over with. The last key takeaway is tracking your habits and your productivity hours. Now this is something that I started doing, and I started doing this by buying a paper calendar and a dry erase board. So every night I have something to write down for the next day. I write down every night on my calendar, this is what I have to do tomorrow, and I have it all lined up, and then so by the end of the night, that following day, I can cross everything out. And I have the same thing for my dry erase board right there. Every single night, I write down what I have to do the following day. And when I wake up, that's the first thing I see, so it's right in front of me, and it just makes it easier to get it accomplished. Since I started doing this, there's been a significant improvement in my productivity. Now, a quick story here. I went to grad school overseas and I had to write a thesis, a very, very long thesis, and it was a lot of work. I was supposed to graduate last year, but because I was never organized, because I was also a massive procrastinator, it took me an extra year to graduate because I did not write my thesis and I was just procrastinating. It was, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow came around, it never got done. And there was a point this year where I was on pace to graduate in December rather than this past June. So I picked up this book in February and I read it and I just started implementing all the different little tidbits of advice, especially being more organized and tracking my productivity hours. Once I started being organized and writing down my schedules for the day, I was able to really dedicate a lot of time on my thesis and because of that, I was able to graduate three weeks ago. Honestly, if I never set myself that schedule, I would have been sitting here hoping, hoping and praying that I could graduate this upcoming December. But now, three weeks ago, I got my diploma. Congratulations to me. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys learned something, and I really hope you guys can pick this book up because it's really helpful, and it gives a lot of practical advice, not just one of those change your mindset about this and that, but... It gives a lot of practical advice that you can implement immediately and you can see those changes as well. So please make sure to like and subscribe. That's it for this video. Peace, y'all.